Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, I really think Stephen Ben Danun, the Messianic rabbi, I do believe he is serious. And he may have, in a video he did yesterday, bring out a very, very significant point. And he may have uh, discovered a, a prophecy in the book of Obadiah that everyone is overlooking. Matter of fact, let me tell you what it is. In Obadiah, which is only one chapter, if you begin reading at verse 14, it says, Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For here's the key verse, verse 16. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they have not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Now, it's very important, and I know after just being in Israel a couple months ago that I visited the tomb of, of David as well as I went into the upper room, uh, which is right there in the same area. It's actually just almost above the tomb of David. Um, it's on Mount Zion area. All right. What happens is this. When the Pope and the Vatican came to Israel and went in and had a communion uh, supper of which they drank upon the holy mountain. Now the Jews and the rabbis, the Jewish rabbis were extremely upset about this because they felt that this was a disrespect to David's tomb and also potentially a disrespect or of the book of Obadiah and these scriptures. So the Jewish rabbis are extremely upset, but they were willing to let it go in, in, in observance of allowing the Vatican to have their, their um, religious service. There were just a few people in that room that, that day too also. It was just the Pope and some of his very close cardinals. And uh, so it was a very small gathering uh, for that communion. But here's what's happened. It's since then is what's bringing this up. The Pope making a decree, the Vatican, saying that Palestine, they recognize Palestine as a state. And the next day, 136 other nations did the same. And then, just last week, the Vatican signing a deal with the Palestinian Authority that anywhere the Palestinian Authority have authority, they will allow the Vatican to have more access to holy sites and and be able to hold more of these types of religious ceremonies, which without the consent of the Jews, without the consent of the rabbis, who are very upset, especially when you're talking about the Tomb of David area, okay, or maybe the Temple Mount. Um, these are very significant shifts in relationships between Israel, the nation of Israel, and the Vatican. So Stephen ben nun has been bringing this forward. You can read it for yourself. It is in the book of Obadiah. Uh, as this prophecy was spoken so many thousands of years ago, but now we're looking at it again because of what's happening. And then the Pope is coming to America. When? In September. His agenda, well, he's going to meet with President Barack Obama in the White House, and then he's going to do something else. He's going to speak before the United States Congress, a joint session of Congress, in which many believe he is going to push for a two-state solution and the parting of the land of Israel. Now, he'll be there in September. He'll also go to New York, where the UN General Assembly will be gathered, and he'll end up in Philadelphia for a massive outdoor mass during, during, the fourth blood moon, the super blood moon. And now you also know that it's the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Tabernacles, the end of the Shemitah, 
the end of the co climate chaos, uh, with all of these things converging in the same month. What is going to happen? Are we in the time when we watch the unification, the globalization, are the Luciferians about to make a move with the new world order? I'm in prayer. And I'll also put a link on Stephen Ben Danoon's video. It's very good. Check it out. God bless. Give your life to Jesus Christ because he's coming soon. He is absolutely coming soon. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus. Don't miss my first ever television broadcast. This Friday night, July 3rd. This Friday night, July 3rd on Direct TV and Dish Network at 11.30 p.m. Eastern. Direct TV, channel 367, Dish Network, channel 217, Uverse Network, channel 82. But don't miss it. We're running out of time.